Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. I used to have a series on my channel, What Will a 22 Go Through? And it was widely popular and you guys loved it. I love doing it just to show the power of the 22 LR. And it's been probably about two years since I made one of those videos. And here recently, my Apple iMac went out and I got some estimates on it. It's going to cost a couple thousand dollars to get it fixed. So instead of getting it repaired, I just went ahead and bought a new one. This one's probably about seven or eight years old because now that I bought a new one, it is a tax write-off. I'm going to test and see if just hypothetically speaking, I'm at home doing my edits on my video and a bad guy breaks in and all of a sudden he comes in and pop, 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 pop with a 22 LR. I want to know if I hide behind my computer screen if it's going to stop a 22 LR. Now, first I want to hit it with just some CCI standard velocity, and then I'm wanting to try with some Minimax. If those don't go through, if they do go through, I'm going to hit it a few times with a nine millimeter. And to finish it off, since I don't want anybody to see what was on my computer, I'm going to hit it with a 50 BMG and some APID rounds. So without any further ado, put in the comments below if you think a 22 LR is going to go through an iMac. All right, I'm going to be using five rounds of CCI standard out of a Walther PPQ. So here we go, five rounds. Let's take a look. What are you guys guesses? Did it go through? It's a lot of glass to go through. And come on back here and take a look. <laughs> So if I was in my office and someone broke in with a 22 LR and shot my iMac and I hid behind it, it's going to stop a CCI standard velocity. This is some pretty thick glass. Now again, this ammo is only traveling at about probably 900 feet per second out of this pistol. But now let me ramp it up, put some CCI mini mags in here, hit it five more times. All right, now I'm gonna load up some 40 grain round nose CCI mini mags. Uh, these are gonna be traveling probably about 150 feet per second faster than the standard velocity. So we're gonna put five rounds into it. Here we go. All right, so I bet this went through. There's no way this stopped it. Oh, take a look. So I blew off a panel here. Oh, look at this. There's actually a bullet stuck <laughs> at the lower panel that fell off. It just was laying there, but look, it stopped everything. You got a bulge right here on the rear inside, but it has stopped 10 rounds of a 22 LR. So in my opinion, if someone breaks into your house with a 22, no matter what ammunition they have, guess what? If you hide behind your iMac, you're probably going to be safe. Now let's ramp it up to a nine millimeter and see if it can go through it. Now we've ramped it up quite a bit. I've got some 124 grain Federal HSTs loading up here in a nine millimeter. This is the new Canik TTI Combat nine millimeter pistol that is race ready. Uh, full video on this here pretty soon. I doubt very seriously that this iMac is going to stop this, but here we go, three shots. Make sure my ears are in good. I'm not shooting suppressed anymore. All right, here we go. <laughs> there is no way that that stopped it. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we had one come out right here, but it hit the base and just fragmented. Right here it is. Right there you go. That is the HST 
that came just completely apart hitting the electronics. And look, nothing came out. It stopped every single bullet. Guys, I'm telling you, if you're ever broken into and you have chance to put this against your chest, no need to buy body armor, just buy an iMac. It's gonna stop a bullet. Now, I don't want any information of mine whatsoever left on this iMac. So I'm gonna turn it sideways. I got my Steyr 50 BMG. I've got some APID rounds and I'm gonna to try to cut this just like a playing card. No promises or anything, but we're gonna finish this computer off one way or another. From the last time you guys saw this 50 BMG was probably about three or four years ago. Since then, Silencer Central hooked me up with a Thor 50 cow suppressor. So this thing is much, much quieter. Now I've got some APID rounds here. If you don't know what APID stands for, it's Armor Piercing Incendiary Tracers. So these are pretty bad dudes coming out of a 50 BMG. All right, that poor little iMac. Let's see if I can split it or get close. All right, safety's off. I better put my foot back here because this thing kicks like a mule. All right, here we go. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> I think I hit it. All right, I knew if a 22 wouldn't finish it off, I knew a 50 BMG would. Oh, look at that. That is like the most sensitive part. There's my hard drive and it now has, well, it's pretty much donezo, almost donezo. You can see right here where a 22 probably hit it at one time, but that 50 just tore it to pieces right here. Oh man. So I was aiming right here. It does shoot a little bit left, I missed it by like a tenth of an inch to hit it perfect, to split it like a playing card. And of course, it came out right there. Let's see what this screen looks like. Got to be careful with the glass here. Oh, wow, the screen's still in pretty good shape. But the iMac was in no shape or form a worthy opponent for a 50 BMG. Yeah. This is a fun video. In no way, shape, or form would I ever tell you guys to hide behind an iMac for, for, for protection from a bullet. It's kind of like play on words, but to some people, I've got to say that. But yeah, this was fun. 22 won't go through it. A nine millimeter won't go through it. But by George, a 50 cal will pretty much destroy it. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have any other ideas of what you want me to put a 22 through next, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep linking. According to my cameraman, uh, that hard drive is not damaged enough, so got another APID round. See if I can put one through it. Don't really know where the 50 shoots <laughs> at, at 25 yards, so let's hit it again. Uh, yeah, I think I got it that time. Well guys, good news and bad news. The bad news is that this hard drive is still good. I was aiming high right, because I was thinking it was shooting a little bit left. And since I'm only at 25 yards, this thing has a zero at 100 yards, but I hit exactly where I was aiming. Let me back up again, hit it with another APID round. All right, let's hit it again. I didn't go through those plates. I need to go through those plates. It's not every day I get to shoot my 50 BMG at 25 yards. All right, here we go. Brace myself a little bit. Oh, did you hear all the pieces <laughs> of that hard drive just raining down behind the berm? So, all right, let's go take a look. So I was aiming right here last time and it hit right there. So I was about an inch off. It did go through the plates, but I just don't feel comfortable with that. I think I should hit it closer to the center and to finish it off. But that armor piercing incendiary tracer, it just flies right through there so quick and doesn't expand. It just, it just goes through it like 
like, I don't know, like hot butter. Let me set it up here. I got one round left. Let's finish it off. I have one more aphid round. Let's see if I can finish it off. Man, that thing hits so hard. Let's go take a look. All right, I hit just a little bit left from the first shot and down, but these platters are absolutely destroyed. You're not getting anything off of this hard drive.